Have you ever heard the phrase, if you try and help everyone, you'll help no one? Yeah, well, me too. And I struggled with it when I left the fitness industry and tried to help other businesses with automation. One of the biggest struggles I've ever had is what niche do I want to work in? I know fitness and I know the fitness industry quite well. So I started where I was and I used all of the knowledge that I had to help business owners in that niche. But at the start of this year, I decided to branch out and find other businesses that I could help with my skill set. And to be frank, I found a bunch. This video is going to be what I have done in different industries and what you can do in those industries if you want to start offering automation as a service. Now, if you're in that industry and you like what you see, you can book a call with me below, but this is going to be going through what we do. Starting off with number one, and it's the first automation that I ever really did. And that's automate a service businesses onboarding. This is where you take a business that has clients that are continuously being onboarded and have a list of different platforms or different things that need to be completed by that client for them to get started using your client service. This is where I started in the fitness industry. I would take my clients, new clients and get them onboarded to all of the platforms they used to coach and deliver their coaching service and give them access to courses, whatever it was. Now, similar industries that this can be applied to are marketing agencies, any kind of coaching business, whether that's business coaching or whatever, sports coaching, legal services, allied health, there's there's heaps more, but you understand. Anything that has consistent clients coming through the business. The way I approach this is that I would have an interview with the client, usually after the sales call, and I would ask questions about how they're currently onboarding their clients to their service. And an example from a company that I worked with was this. Someone signs up on a Zoom call, they get off the call, they send a payment link manually through their payment provider. The client takes a day or two to pay, sometimes up to a week. They then then send a contract to the client. They then wait a couple of days for the client to sign the contract. Once it's signed out, they send out a manual email saying that they will soon onboard them to their platforms and they should receive their login credentials within the next week. Then they manually onboard each client to their systems one by one. This process could have taken 10 to 14 days, depending on how quickly the client got back to them. I thought to myself, geez, I can fix that. <laughs> so the solution that I implemented was the following. The client didn't have a CRM that they were using. So I set one of them up for them using Go High Level. Whenever they moved a deal to one or closed, it would then trigger a zap in Zapier, which would then send out a personalized contract to their client. This is immediately as the payment went through. They also moved to taking payments on the initial Zoom call as well. So payment is made on the call. So they're not waiting for for 24 to 48 hours for the client to pay. Uh, then it sends off a personalized contract before they even get off the call. An automated message is sent out via Go High Level and an automated email is sent out as soon as that sends saying you've got a new contract to sign and a text message saying, don't forget to sign the contract. As soon as that contract is signed, it moves them out of that workflow, which has reminders built in to make sure that they actually do. And so they don't have to manually follow up. The client then signs a contract, which then instigates another zap from Zapier, which then sends out a welcome email and begins to onboard the client to the platforms that my client was using. Kajabi, Trainerize, and also just a link to WhatsApp because that's how they communicated. It then delayed for one hour. The client is then sent a generic email with one of the platforms they required generic login credentials. Although simple, a very powerful automation that reduce their onboarding time from about a week to two weeks to literally up to two days. What you're delivering in this automation isn't just client onboarding. What you're really doing is creating an incredible user experience of for your client's client. So you're not thinking about what you're doing for that business. You're thinking about the experience that's being generated at the very end. It aims to improve your client's deliverability, the speed at which your clients get people set up, which will then lead to less buyer's remorse and they start getting results quicker. So moving into number two. Now, this is a very, very simple automation. And I want you to understand that I'm not by any means saying that this is complex. Anyone can do this if you have access to a JHL account, and that is missed call text back. This is where you find businesses who often don't have the time to take a phone call during work hours. However, they heavily rely on phone calls to get business. So say they're listed on Google or whatever, and they're constantly getting phone calls about jobs or quotes or inquiries. They're the people this is for. And basically what happens is when they miss a phone call, instead of having a receptionist call them back, it will send an automated text message with the first question of their sales process. So someone calls, they miss the call, and then immediately they're sent a text message from the client, from your client. So for example, this could look like a builder who is building something. They get a phone call, their hands are full, they can't answer it. The text message says something along the lines of, 
Hi, are you looking for X, Y, Z? This then starts the conversation with the prospect a lot quicker than just having missed the call and then calling back hours later. Because you started to engage people, they will start to engage back. You can then jump on and reply to a text message really quickly, organizing a time to have a conversation about what they were after in the first place. And a few industries where you can use this are hairdressers, plumbers, electricians, barbers, carpenters, any business that requires uh, people to work and not being able to answer their phone can use this service. And if you're looking to get into this and how you would approach people with it, I would look at the list of businesses I just said and speak to as many of them as you can and ask them, are they losing business because they can't get back to phone calls within a certain period of time? Whoever you find has the most amount of yeses in there, then target that niche. Then ask as many business owners as you can in that niche. If you can run this service for them for free for a week or two weeks, to see if they start getting more business based on the tools that you're adding in. If they do, they are going to want to stay with you because it's working and you're making the money. But you could charge 40, 50, 60, hell, even $100 a week for this service. It just depends on how good you are at positioning the value and how much you're willing to charge. People will pay for things that bring them an ROI. Which leads us into number three, referrals and testimonials. Again, another very simple automation, but however, has a very big value add to the clients that you are delivering this to. A completely legitimate way of building a business is through referrals and testimonials. And it can be used for any business that has a customer. I don't care if you're a landscaping business, if you're a martial arts studio, if if you're a lawyer, if you're an accountant, you could always use testimonials and referrals. The conversation that you need to have with business owners is something like this. You will ask them, how do they normally get referrals and testimonials? They will probably say, we get them every now and then. And then you will ask, are referred clients usually your best clients? And most of the time they will say yes. And then you can offer them the following automation. For every person that enters your business, they will then enter a two month long automation sequence. This can be how however long it needs to be, it doesn't need to be two months, where at certain points of their customer journey, they will be asked to either give feedback, a testimonial or a referral. This can be done in Zapier or go high level. If you're doing it in Zapier, it may not be as reliable because the delays will be longer. So if something happens and Zapier goes down or whatever, I've just found that GHL is more reliable to do this because the delays work a little bit better. It would go like this. So a client pays and then it adds them to a workflow that is active client. It waits seven days, just an example. It will then ask for feedback on the product or service. That could look something like a feedback form where it's rate us one through five stars, rate anything four or less. It will then send a feedback form where it says, hey, um, sorry, we haven't met your expectation. Can you please give us some feedback on how we improve? With that being said, that information then goes back to the business owner. But if it's a five, then you can ask for something in return for that five. Because this person's indicating that they're 100% happy with the product, they will then be willing to do something for you. So that's where you can ask for a referral. So you could say something like, we found that our best customers who give five stars and are just like you, uh, love telling their friends about our product. Here's a hundred dollar voucher that you can pass on to a friend that they can redeem on our service or product. Of course, that can be anything you kind of like. Just make sure that that offer is really good and people will want to share it with their friends. You can then wait 14 days or however long and then ask them if they are still 100% satisfied with the product or if they rated four or below. Ask them if the changes that have been made or the remedy had fixed it and if they're at a five now. And then follow up with something along the lines of, hey, the number one thing that helps me grow my businesses is full satisfied customers, would you be willing to give a testimonial based on your experience with us uh, so I can put it on our website or put it on our social media to hopefully grow my business? At this point, if they've rated five stars consecutively or you've brought them to a five stars, they will be willing to help you. You can build this out for as long as you like, adding in different steps along the way with referrals. You can do it forever for the life of the customer. It's entirely up to you. This automation isn't just a good way for your client to build up their testimonials and their referrals, but it also is a great way for them to start getting feedback where they potentially weren't getting it before. Asking for customer feedback is something that I've stolen from my time working at Apple. Every single time we took a session. So on the Genius Bar, we're technicians, we fix someone's phone or fix someone's Mac. Every single time they would be sent an NPS survey, which stands for Net Promoter Score, of how did Matt do? But it would always give the customer an opportunity to give feedback. And it's something that we began to look forward to because we would see how we did. Because everyone loves being told that they were great, but also understanding where your areas of improvement are is so valuable for you to become a better 
person, but also technician, business owner, entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it. I hope you found this inspiring and you've taken some information from it that you can either potentially apply to your own business, take it, run it and start your own business, or you just enjoyed listening to me talk for however long. If you wanted this implemented into your business, you can follow the link below at knockon.info and book in with us. If you are looking to start a business that is something along the lines of this, but you're not quite sure where to start, you can follow my free course below on how to start an automation agency, essentially, where I go through the tools that I use, the platforms that I use, that's the same thing, and the approach that I use of creating an offer, and you also get access to my free Discord as well. I've got nothing to sell you in there, uh, but if you sign up with my affiliate, then you get to join our affiliates club. Whoop-de-doo. Have a great day. Bye.